Were you there the night that Biggie was killed? Well, from my perspective, what happened was is that if I look at the overall picture of it, and like I said it before, I think there was four different individ four different groups that was trying to hurt us from Bad Boy. You understand? I think the people at Death Row, based on what DJ uh, Quick said out of his mouth, those niggas said they was going to try to get him. I think the people in the dog pound wanted Big and Puff at one time. You understand? I think that this Muslim crew that we had a, a incident at Soul Train, they wanted them. And then I think some people was just hired to kill Puff. So now I think four individuals, different individuals, different crews was trying to kill us or wanted to have a beef with us. And the people who was trying to kill Puff that night end up killing Big. Can you take me through the night? We arrived to the Peterson Museum. Um, they were playing hypnotized a thousand different times. Puff was running back and forth. You had Keefe D come up to the, um, Keefe D, one of the Compton Crips, he came up there. I introduced him to Big. Uh, the fire sting was going off because there was a lot of smoke and everything. We was up in the Peterson Museum and there was luxury cars in there. So the fire marshals came and shut it down. Before they shut it down, uh, when they told us we shut down, I ran down, got the cars, put the cars right there in front of the doors so we could leave. We were about to go to Steve Stout's house because he was giving a party up in the hills. I called one of my friends, Chaz from Black Hands. Chaz told us not to come up there to the hills because he thought that if we'd have went up in the hills, a lot more people would have got killed because it looked like they were setting something up because they was trying to get us up in the hills. Right? At the time, I didn't know that Big Car had stickers on the wheels that said uh, uh, Big something. All his wheels had stickers on them uh, that was different from ours, and they were the same vehicles. Uh, we parked on side the driveway. Uh, when we got ready to leave, this Muslim come walking down the street. I end up sh showing him my weapon. He walked back up the street. After I showed him my weapon, he walked back up the street. Uh, asked everybody, was they ready to go? They said yes. I hopped in the. I hopped on top of the side of the car. Hopping on the side of the car, I said, uh, Puff said, yo, Gene, get in the car. And I was like, yo, I want to ride on the side of the car, man, make sure everybody's all right. You know, because I felt that security, we didn't have enough security. You know, we went in there with 23 people and 11 of us left together. From 23 to 11, because uh, I think 12 of those individuals had already went decided to leave us in the party and go up on the hills to Steve South's house, right? So now, me and Puff get into an argument because he's telling me to get in the car or I'll never work for Bad Boy again. When I get in the car, he moves his seat all the way back. I'm kind of crunched sideways. So then I tell our driver, Kenny, yo, Kenny, run the next three lights. The reason I told Kenny to run the next three lights I had just took a class prior to going out there with the DEA. That's the Drug Enforcement Administration. It was called Interrogation and Surveillance. And in that class, they told us, yo, if you want to find out if somebody following you, run three lights or take three rights. You understand? So it just came naturally that when I got in the car, I'm upset that the fact me and Puff just got in, a, he got a seat back. I told our driver, yo, Kenny, run the next three lights. Big number was supposed to be following us because I spoke to the security person that was behind them. I said, y'all ready? Y'all follow us. So if we run a light, they run a light. It's a flashing red light. 
all the traffic and everything else, all the police and everything was on the way on the other side of the museum. We was on the side by ourselves and there was nobody out there. So as we go through the light, you understand, uh, Tone say, yo, Big Nam ain't coming. Yo, somebody pointing a gun at Big. You know, this is what Tone's saying all in one simultaneously. And then next thing you know, uh, Kenny stop. He stops the car. So then we hear the gunshot. Pop, 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 pop. Kenny pull, goes forward instead of putting the car in reverse and going back towards the light or doing a U-turn and turning stuff like that. He wait till he goes halfway up the block, then you turn, I'm cussing him out. Like, yo, Kenny, what the fuck is you doing? You say, you say, he say, yeah, we don't know where they shooting at. Motherfucker, they say they shooting at big. Do the U-turn, come back, parks right in front of the car. Puff jumps out the vehicle and go around to Big's car. I jump out and go behind Puff. You know what I'm saying? Little C's and everybody in them had ran down the block. You see them coming back. D, D Rock holding his head, talking about they shot his man. Oh, they got my man. Don't understand why the driver put the car in park and he jumped out and he ran also. You know what I'm saying? Tone calls me and say, yo, Big Gene. Tone say, yo, Big Gene, let's go. He say, Gene, come on, let's go. Me and Tone gets in the car. We try chasing in the direction where the guy went. When we turn the corner, because we see the guy drove down, then he turns the corner. And by the time... We get up to the top of the hill. It looked like a slope that was going up like that on top of the hill. One time we get up there, we don't see nobody, see nothing. So I told Tone, said, yo, I wish I had my truck. I said, Tone, let's get back, man. Them they, they, don't, they, they don't have enough security, just put it that way. We get back. I walk down to the Peterson Museum, and that's when I hear uh, your man DJ Quick talking about Oh, uh, I think they got one of those bad boy niggas. They said they was going to get him. Paul runs down. As soon as he said that, Paul runs down, grabbed me. Yo, we taking Big to the hospital. Wasn't thinking. Ambulance is right The Ambulance is right there. So when Stevie J them making the, uh, um, and people are making, calling 911, why didn't the dispatcher say, well, we got an ambulance right there, and why they ain't come to the other side of the museum? When me and Tone was driving, they was calling the ambulance. Why didn't the, uh, they call 911? Why didn't they come to the other side of the museum? I don't even know. They was less than a half a block away. The, the hospital was two, uh, two blocks away. It took us 30 minutes to get to see the sign out where uh, he was pronounced dead at. I was one of the individuals that pulled him out the car. What's up? This is Cam Capone. We got more content like this coming soon. So hit that like button, subscribe, and stay locked in to Cam Capone News.